And you know, a lot... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and you know, like, everyone says, like, oh, Rust will replace C. Like, what are your opinions on this? Like, do you think there's, like, any sort of merit to C replacing, or Rust replacing C, or is this just, like, a huge hype bubble that's waiting to die down? Oh, Rust. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Uh, uh, oh, okay. I, I have written only one Rust program, so you should take all of this with a giant grain of salt. Um, and I found it a pain <laughs> that I just couldn't grok the mechanisms that required to do memory safety in a program where memory wasn't even an issue. Um, but I think I could have gotten around that. The other thing that I found was that the two things, really. One, the support mechanism that went with it, this notion of crates and barrels and things like that, was just incomprehensibly big and slow. And the compiler was slow. The code that came out was slow. And the other thing is that when I tried to figure out what was going on, the language had changed since the last time somebody <laughs> it posted a description. And so it it took days to write a program which in other languages would take maybe five minutes. And so that was my one Rust example. I actually got mail from a friend a few days ago. A project is being started somewhere called Tractor, which is, somebody's heard of Tractor. I had not heard of it. It is total replacement of all C programs with Rust or something like that. It's a, a, a tortured acronym that goes under it. I. So I'm probably unduly cynical, but I'm, I don't think it's going to replace C right away, anyway. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Brian, over here. Uh, 